Hello guys, in this video we'll be comparing Adobe Illustrator and Canva. Everything from a price point to advanced features we will cover in this video, so stick to the end to see which software is better. So now let's start. From a price point perspective, Adobe Illustrator goes for $20.99 per month, or if you choose for a more expensive pack, which includes Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Illustrator, InDesign and Acrobat, you can expect to pay $52.99 per month. On the other hand, Canva is a free platform that can also be downloaded as a mobile app on both Android and iOS. But if you choose a Canva Pro, the price can go anywhere from $2.59 per device per month to $12.95 per month for 5 devices. It is generally known that Adobe Illustrator is one of the hardest Adobe software to learn and utilize. Even for me, after 2 years of learning Adobe Illustrator, it feels like I only scratch the surface of this program and what it offers. When it comes to learning, it is very hard to get started with Adobe Illustrator, so it is recommended to start by watching tutorials and learning step by step. On the other hand, Canva is super easy to use. After registration, you can instantly start creating whatever you want. From thumbnails for a YouTube channel to designing Instagram stories and posts. Also, the mobile app is something that you should really check out. It offers even more features than a desktop version. With Adobe Illustrator, you can create many graphic designs that are a vector. What it means is that whatever you create inside of this software, when scaling your design up or down, you won't lose on quality. So whenever you create a design, you can print it in any size you desire and the quality will stay the same. When it comes to Canva, there are a lot of easy to use features that could come in handy such as pre-made shapes, images, stickers, templates, etc. But when it comes to exporting files, Canva does not provide vector designs. Also, when it comes to importing fonts, Canva does not allow you to import just any fonts. Generally speaking, if you're just starting out, a good alternative for Adobe Illustrator is Adobe Photoshop. It is much easier to use and learn, and if you're looking for a software for basic day-to-day -day designing, you should definitely check out Photoshop. When it comes to Canva, a good alternative should be Vangage. Vangage has a lot more features and if you want a software that can easily compete with Illustrator, you should check it out. In conclusion, after we covered all of the aspects, we can see that both of these softwares have their pros and cons. In my opinion, if you're questioning whether you should choose Canva or Adobe Illustrator, I think that the best option would be both. And then see what fits you better. I hope that this video was useful and that you learned something new. If you want to start learning on Skillshare, I will leave a link for 14 days of premium membership, so check it out. See you in the next video. Bye!